Let me show you how you can add hundreds of thousands of facilities to your database, eliminate duplicates, and instantly connect yours and your partner's databases together. Open Supply Hub is an open database containing hundreds of thousands of production sites across more than a hundred sectors. If you know Open Supply Hub, you know you can use it for a lot of different purposes. You can search for the facilities of a specific brand or contributor. You can search for the shared facilities of specific contributors. You can learn more about the facilities you source from. You can find new facilities to source from in specific parts of the world or in a specific sector or facilities that perform a certain kind of processing. You can download that data within the limit of 10,000 facilities directly into an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file. But an API makes this process even quicker and easier. When connecting to the API, results appear in a couple of seconds and there is no download limit. You can download the whole database if you wish to and use it for your own purposes. And if you have a specific product in mind, you can automate querying the OS Hub database to feed data into your product. Open Supply Hub has a proprietary algorithm that instantly spots and matches duplicate entries. When you upload your data to Open Supply Hub, our algorithm kicks into gear and automatically merges any duplicates in your database. Not only this, for any facility you upload which already exists in the database, you get a ton of existing additional information previously contributed by other organizations or by production sites themselves. Uploading your data on Open Supply Hub via the website requires you to fill in the template that we provide, follow a certain type of formatting, and have your data verified by our team of data moderators. But when you use the API, you can upload as many facilities as you want, whenever you want, simply by pressing post. And contrary to uploading via the website, you have the flexibility to upload one facility at a time, which takes literally less than a minute. Now let's move over to our API so that I can show you how easy it is to use and how quickly it can eliminate the headache of manually comparing Excel spreadsheets. We are going to head over to Postman, which is the free interface we recommend using to access the Open Supply Hub API. When you sign up, we provide you with a wealth of onboarding videos which enable you to set up your API connection in a couple of minutes, even if you are not a technical person and don't know how to write code. So let me show you how to search for facilities on Open Supply Hub via the API. These parameters that you see act as filters in the exact same way as they do on the website. Let's say that I'm looking for all factories in China in the apparel sector. I'm going to write countries and China, as well as sectors and apparel. And you can see here that in a couple of seconds, the API returned more than 57,000 production sites. I can see the unique identifier of this first facility, as well as its name and address just like I would on the website. I can see all the different contributors that have uploaded this specific facility to Open Supply Hub. I can also see all the different versions of the name that have been contributed. And I can also see all the different versions of the address that have been contributed. This is a very good example of the work the algorithm does to put all of these different versions under the same unique identifier. And I can also see the number of workers and basically the exact same data as I would find on the front end. This repeats for the additional 57,000-ish facilities that this research has returned. Now, if I was on the website, I couldn't download these results because they represent more than 10,000 facilities. But because I'm using the API, I can do it in a couple of seconds by clicking on these three dots and then saving the response into a JSON file. If I am providing supply chain traceability services, I can absolutely add this data to my product. I can also search Open Supply Hub for a specific sector or a specific type of processing, download the database and feed it into my product. Finally, 
To take full advantage of the Open Supply Hub API, I can also upload my facilities directly to the database without the need to format my data into an Excel spreadsheet, go through the moderation, etc. So here I'm going to move on to the post section of Postman and first add a production site to see if it already exists in the database. So here you can see that the URL has changed. It is because I am connecting to our staging environment, which is the environment you will be connected to during your trial period. All API packages include a 14 day free trial period for you to test the API and make sure it's the right fit for you. So here I am going to post one of my facilities and see if it exists in the Open Supply Hub database. I can see that the API responds matched which means that my production site already exists in the database. Even if I didn't write the exact same name and address, the algorithm was able to find it and match it with an existing facility, giving me my unique identifier, my OSID, and additional uh, information, all the additional data that is already available on Open Supply Hub. And as other contributors contribute data about this specific facility, I am going to gain more and more information without having to go look for it myself. Now I'm going to post a facility that I know is not in the database. And as you can see here, the API has created a new facility and has allocated it a unique identifier, an OSID, that I can now use freely internally in my organization or externally with partners and providers. And if you want to use the API but are not allowed to publish your facilities under your organization's name, that is no problem because with the API, you can post facilities anonymously which is not something you can do via the website. So now let's repost this new facility, but now set this new parameter public to false. And then let's go see on the website. We can now see that this facility has been contributed by two contributors. One of them doesn't have a name showing. So this was an introduction to the API, the easiest and quickest way to use Open Supply Hub's database. If you would like to try the API yourself, start your 14 day trial by clicking on one of the packages below. You won't be charged until the end of your trial and you will be able to cancel your subscription at any time through your user interface if it turns out that the API is not for you. If you have additional questions, our FAQ at the bottom of this page should answer most of them. And in any case, we're always happy to help via email. Thank you for watching this demo. We look forward to having you as one of our API users.